Alright guys, John here from War Jeepney and I will be continuing my solo campaign using my Eternus Continuum. Uh, during the last mission, I was able to uh, take two of my objectives, two of the VIPs, but one VIP was able to escape and now we are running after that VIP. So the mission here is to capture that single VIP inside this special uh, villa. So your mission is to capture this VIP right here. However, that VIP has a bodyguard. You cannot capture the VIP unless you kill his bodyguard, which is a coalition weaver. So the VIP has a defense of four, and you have to get your models within one inch and make a successful melee attack. After which you can take that model with you and the model that attacked it or has captured it must escape the board. Over here at the other side, we have a special console. Your models must be in control of this console in order for you to successfully escape with the VIP. Now take note that your model with the VIP cannot escape your board unless you have a friendly force uh, in control of this console. Aside from the Coalition uh, Weaver bodyguard, the following forces will also be in play. Over at this side, you will have a hunter a squad of rangers and another hunter here so they are expecting your force to come in from this side of the board not knowing that your group was able to sneak in, in from reserve the, the opposing force has three dusk wolves and another hunter during my last mission i only started with a starter but i earned uh, six points so i'm using that six points to add the following models i'm adding a nemesis i'm adding raxis and I am adding Jax, just because since this feels like some sort of special operations mission, I think Jax will fit right in. For my deployment, I'm deciding to start strong. I'm putting a Nemesis here, and I'm putting Jax here, who is going to sneak up and try to take the VIP. Let's put an arc on Jax. I will play Ascension Catalyst on my Nemesis. Movement six plus two inches. And he'll get Sniper right. is caught by surprise, and Nemesis fires its rockets to the sniper. Rocket pop, two. Sniper defense, one. It hits. Two to kill the sniper. Sniper is killed. Battle cruiser, one inch move. Jax with flight, moves nine and can get there. So Jax lands right there and will try to shoot the Weaver. Round four, one arc. And I get Weaver four. defense. Three, so oh, four, one, in. one in. And, ooh, no damage to the Weaver. Fusion Sword to the Weaver. And I get two. Weaver's defense, three. So Jax with a gate here with four arc on it. Uh, no cards to be played. Now over to the Marcher World side. AI places the arc towards the nearest threat. Enemy ciphers. And... This one will go to their squad. Displacement index on the rangers. So he gets here. And the other guys follow. As aggressively as you can. Coalition Weaver attacks Jack. Three with an arc. Jack three. Defense of five. Reposte of Jacks. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Coalition Weaver defense. And one, two, three. So four in. Pow four, four in. And one wound. One wound. This squad is now the nearest unit to the Jacks as compared to their sniper back there. So this squad will activate and move forward. Squad has moved forward and will try to gun Jacks down. First ranger, rat 3, 2 hits. Jax, defense 5, and the ranger misses. Second ranger, miss. Third ranger, 2. And for Jax, 2. So they all miss. Let's see if AI plays a card. No Jax in play. And the weaver will use pyrokinetic surge on Jax. Focus 4 sitting on 6. 
And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Defensive jacks. And three, so that's five in. Uh oh. Pow three, five in. Jax is armor three with three life. And that is one damage, two damage. Jax survives. But he has fire on him now. Coalition Weaver throws a gate there with three arc on it. Forgot that Jax has flight, so for the melee, I should have rolled two more power dice. But anyway, the Coalition Weaver did not hit, so doesn't matter. But that's just something for me to take note of from now on. Okay, Jax now activating and uh, shooting the Coalition Weaver. Because of fire, he's now Rat 3, but he still has an arc on him. And scores a 2. Weaver's defense. And Jax misses. Melee attack. He's dropped down to 4. And he scores 4. Coalition hits. Weaver's defense is 2, so I get 2 in. Pow 4, 2 in, 2 to kill. And Coalition Weaver, the bodyguard, is killed. I was hoping to be quick, but I have no choice. I'll have to activate my nemesis, leave the objective he's supposed to hold, and help out Jax over here. I'm only going to use the Hallophage Cannon and the Stinger, which can reach this first guy here. But firing the rocket would be too risky, because it could splash damage over to Jax. Looking at Rat 4 with a charge on the Nemesis, place this turn, and we only have two. Do I reroll? Yep. I get to reroll with the Stinger Cannon, help him get better. Okay, that's worse. One. Ranger Defense and in cover, and my Stinger Cannon misses. Holophage, scores Ranger three. Defense, and a four. Now I'm tempted to fire my Rocket Pod. Uh, Jax is exactly two, so was this other model. So this will surely splash to this guy in case it hits. But I'll have to randomize between the two, so do I do it? You know what? Let's do it. Play like you got a pair. Rocket to that ranger. And I score a four. Ranger defense. And I miss, but I at least get to do some damage to that ranger. Hopefully this kills him. Two to kill. And yep able to kill this ranger okay so I don't play a card and for my spawning out of units from the gate I put a squad of reavers here uh, Raxis and a marauder over there. and Jax drops a gate there with three on it arc to the activating model this turn and let's see what cards can be played cryptid command Remove activation from a solo, nope. And instability equation, so nothing played. Sniper moves seven inches and takes a shot at Raxus. Hunter rat six with an arc. That's three, four. Raxus defense two with cover. And three, so one in. Enemy AI will spike. Four, one in versus armor three. And oh, no damage. Cards played by the AI. No Jackson play, no Jackson play. And what does the AI bring out through this gate? Let's roll. And that's a one. So one would be that Jack. And three. So from the solos, one, two, three, a Weaver. Scout Duskwolf and Weaver now appear, blocking my abduction team. And this sniper over here will throw a gate down there okay this is a problem so we have to play this smart okay let's try this put an arc to the reavers velocity projector from raxis to the weaver focus three and i have one i score a three weaver defense no doesn't work Okay, now activating the Reavers and this guy first to try to take the objective. Three, one arc. Yes, a four. Defense of the objective. No, no four. Okay, now this guy to the objective. Let's go. Scores a two. Defense of the objective. No, miss again. Okay, this is bad. Okay, I was actually hoping that it would uh, push slam this guy away. 
they'll be able to take that objective and I'll be able to at least pull them back here. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. This guy is too far to hit the objective, so I guess I'll just attack the Weaver. And without the Weaver, at least I remove his uh, Furies. Weaver attack, and I score a 3. Weaver's defense, and oh, wow. I was hoping these Reavers would do something. Okay, let's do some movement shenanigans. I'm going to move my Reavers to get them away from Duskwolf. Activating the Marauder. And let's see if we can do something. Strafe attack, plus one attack. To the Duskwolf first, and I score a three. Duskwolf defense, zero, so three in. Rat four, three in. And that is one damage to the Duskwolf. Over to the Coalition Weaver. And no attack, no hits. Claw to the Dusk Wolf, and I get one. Dusk Wolf defense, zero, so I get one in. Claw pal four, one in. And one more damage to the Dusk Wolf. Okay, reverse redemption time. Reiteration complex to the reverse. This reaver shooting the Dusk Wolf. Let's go. Alrighty, we have five. Dusk Wolf defense, and two, so three in. Pow three, three in, and that kills the Dusk Wolf. Okay, let's take out those Rangers. Reaver attack to Ranger, and I get one. Ranger defense, so that Reaver misses. Next Reaver to the Ranger, and I get five. Ranger defense, and I get three, so two in. Pow three, two in, kills that ranger. Our ranger is killed. Bring out a scourge and a weaver here, and this gate's gone. And not dropping any gate for now. Wonder if that's a smart move. Turn three of the marchers, arc on the weaver. Playing of cards, Force Barrier, and Plexus. So Force Barrier gets applied to that single guy there. Coalition Weaver activates and attacks the nearest model, which is my Marauder. So Matt Tree with an arc on it, scores a 4. Marauder's defense is a 2, so 2 in. Pow 4 on the Battle Staff, a 2 in. And that is 1 damage to the Marauder. And that model is back. AI spawns a unit through that gate, and what comes out? That's a six. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six. That does cool. For the remaining one arc, one, two, three, first guy, four, five, six, the second solo. So six, that's the second solo, that would be the hunter. So Nemesis is nearest uh, as compared to Raxis, so they deploy their threatening the Nemesis. And this gate is gone. Drops gate right here. Puts tree arc on it. End of the pulse round fire. Does Jax survive? No, Jax is killed. So much for my special ops gal. Okay, pulse round two. And it's now the AC's turn. My turn. So what to do now with this puzzle? I still have to get that objective out. And I have to get somebody up there. Because those are the win conditions. Hmm, so what do I do? Okay, so I want to activate my jacks because those are the strong ones. But the problem is, I'll definitely have to activate them so they can get the objective and move out. But if they stay where they are, they'll have to go out this way. And whatever comes out this gate, they'd be the nearest. So they'd have to deal with that. And the enemy still has a fighter, Duskwolf, uh, ready to be spawned. So I have to somehow clear a path here so that they won't be the nearest. So yeah, you know what? Let's try this. Let's put an arc on the Marauder. The Marauder goes here, so it's now the nearest. And it'll try to take out uh, that Weaver. The Marauder's now there. It's now near that gate. Their exfil path will be down this area here and turn out and get out this way. All right, Marauder Claw to the Weaver. Weaver defense, three. Uh oh. Strafe gun, one shot. Gun to the Weaver, three hits. 
Weaver defense, and it's a miss. Okay, not so good, but well, I just gotta play the game, so I gotta get that guy out or else the AI will just keep spawning through the gates. So yeah, let's see if we can finally take that objective. Okay, this Reaver to that objective. And six, objective defense. Oh, <laughs> six also. Come on boys, let's work this Reaver to the objective. Two, objective defense four. And that leaves the last guy. Last guy to the objective. Two. Objective defense. Two also. Wow. And I thought this mission would be easy. Okay, AI turn nearest model would be the squad here. AI plays their cards. And the reiteration complex goes to the rangers. Reiteration complex nearest to nearest. Ranger attacks and scores a four. Defense of that reaver is a three, so one in. Five, four, one in, two to kill the reaver. Reaver is killed. Next attack, that got the back to this reaver. Ranger attacks and scores a four. Defense is one, so three in. Kill, and that reaver is killed. Weaver attacks the marauder. And no hits. End of activation cards played. And velocity projector will come in against my marauder focus four sitting on one and i get five marauder defense none so five in four to kill the marauder marauder is killed what does the ai bring out one two three fighter dusk wolf four five six scout dusk wolf and it's a scout dusk wolf over there we have three that is a dusk wolf and a sniper and they appear and they surround my nemesis rangers spawn a gate right there with three arc on it Turn 2 for AC for this second pulse round. Chances are slim, but let's try. R to Raxis. RK in synthesis to the nemesis. Raxis moves 5 towards the objective. Raxis tries to take the objective. 1. Objective defense. And no, he does not take the objective. Things are looking slim for me right now. Activating Nemesis, let's hit the Duskwolf with the Hallophage Cannon, and I get, sorry, that's 6 in. Duskwolf Defense, 1. It is hit with Corrosion, its armor is down, and we only take, makes a slight adjustment with its Battlecruiser move backwards. Launches a rocket to the same Duskwolf, and I score 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Defense of that Duskwolf is 0. 6 to kill that Duskwolf. And that Duskwolf is dead. Blast damage to that sniper. Sniper is killed. Blast damage to the other Duskwolf. And no damage. Stinger cannon to that Duskwolf. And I get 5. Duskwolf defense. Oh wow, 5. Fusion sight to the Duskwolf. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Dusk Wolf defense. Power 4, 7 in. Okay, let's count that. And that brings that Dusk Wolf down to 1. Okay, I was hoping I'd kill this Dusk Wolf and be able to go up there to the objective. However, I was not able to do so. And if I move him up and these guys activate next, they will target Raxus because Tar Raxus would be the nearest. So. I'm keeping him here so he can tank off some of the shots and let's see if Raxus can pull off another hit. Aggression Theorem on Raxus and let's see if he can take the objective this time. Attack of Raxus to take the objective. Scores a 2. Defense of the objective, 2. Okay, that's bad. Pulse round 2, turn 2, that's the Marcher Worlds. And uh, these guys are the next activating models. They are equidistant to my nemesis. But the rule is uh, you give the arc to the highest uh, POW output, and that would be the Dusk Wolf. AI plays their cards, and you have Cryo Lock and Revelation Matrix. So I think Cryo Lock will go in. Nearest model to the Weaver without an activation would be the Scourge. So Scourge will be Cryo Lock. Focus 4, sitting on 1, and it gets. Five. Scourge defense, and it is cryolocked. Hunter attacks, rat six. And that is two. 
Nemesis defense and also Sniper Duskwolf Battle Rifle to the Nemesis. And that's 4 3 in versus Armor 6. And it gets no damage. Flamethrower versus my Nemesis. And it scores a. Wow, 7. Nemesis defense is 2. So the Flamethrower costs damage. And needs a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. And no damage, but it's on fire. Fires off a rocket because it is a reckless AI. And scores a 5. Nemesis defense, 1. 4 in. Power 4. 4 in. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No damage. But there'll be blast damage going around. Blast damage to its own hunter. Hunter is killed. Blast damage to itself. And nothing. Because the AI killed its own hunter, this one will be next to activate. Move forward and attack the nearest target, which would be Raxis. Sniper attack. Rat 6 to Raxis. And he scores a 7. Raxis defense of 2. And in cover. And only 4, so 3 in. Pow 4, 3 in. And no damage to Raxis. AI plays the card and it comes up with a. Okay, I'll probably do that. Malediction rubric. Enemy Coalition Weaver will do the Malediction rubric to Raxis. So focus four, sitting on one, scores a three. Raxis has his cover on, so he evades it. What does the AI bring out of that gate? And a four. Four is a hunter, so the hunter is there, and with the two arc left, let's see what it brings out, a 2, and that is a Dusk Wolf. For the AI, next uncrowded area where it can aggressively drop a gate would be here, so drops a gate with 3 on it. Pulse round 3, third turn, AC's turn, so the only thing I can activate now would be my Immortal Weaver. So let's put an arc on him, because on her, because she has to take that objective, and I think this would be my last chance to do so. Okay, arc on her. And I will do Impulse Inducer on my Jack here. Okay, plan is to try to have her take the objective. And this Jack goes into base contact to distract the AI. And maybe I can pull off an X-Fill going here. Hopefully using Encrypted Command because I have it on hand. But let's see what happens. Okay, banking on the Immortal Weaver to make that attack. Mat 3. With one arc, and I score a 5. Objective defense, and a 4. So, Immortal Weaver has the objective. I have a slim chance of winning this. Okay, so Scourge moves in to distract the two enemy forces there. Wrecking Claw to the Dusk Wolf, and nothing. Hollow Phage to the Dusk Wolf, and I score the Dusk Wolf defense, and oh, I miss it. Nailer to the sniper, maybe I'll get lucky. One. Sniper defense, well, not lucky for me. Splitter to the sniper, and it's a miss. Turn three of post round two. And arc to the Dusk Wolf. AI plays its cards. Impulse inducer. And recall initiative. So impulse inducer will probably come in. Though it's the last turn of the pulse round, so it won't really matter. But anyway, let's just remove the activation token of that jack. So Duskwolf activates, Duskwolf Reaper to my Scourge. Scores a two. Scourge defense, also two. Real gun to the Scourge, and that is three. Defense of the Scourge and two, so it gets one in. And of course, Duskwolf will spike. As the AI always does to reduce my armor. Pow 5, 1 in on 3 armor and 1 damage to the Scourge. Battle Rifle to the Scourge, 3. Defense of the Scourge is Battle just rifle. Pow 4, 2 in and no Sniper damage. Sniper to the Scourge. Defense of the Scourge, 3. So Pow 5 four, 5 in. 1 more damage to the Scourge. And if the turn card's played, Aggression Theorem, and that will most likely work with the Dusk Wolf to my Scourge. Railgun to the Scourge, and it scores 1. Scourge defense, and it defends. AI brings back the Fighter Duskwolf and the Sniper through that gate over there. So when in doubt, and you have to decide for the AI, do what the AI can do to screw you over. So AI puts a gate there, blocking my path with Tree Arc. Okay, third pulse around, and there doesn't seem much that I can do. I have to try to get rid of this gate. Normally, I concede 
But you know what? I'll play it out. Okay, you should, normally shouldn't concede unless you have an incoming next game, but otherwise always try your best to play it out and uh, try to learn. Almost forgot, fire on the Nemesis. And Nemesis takes two damage and the fire is still there. Okay, post round three for the Continuum. Let's try this. Arc on the Scourge. Okay, I'll play Annihilation Vector on this Jack. Scourge the Hunter. Scores a one. Hunter defense and I don't get to hit the Hunter. Scourge Annihilation Vector to the Dusk Wolf. And I get a six. Dusk Wolf defense, four, so two in. Scourge is now strength five with two in. So one damage to the Dusk Wolf. Attack to the gate and I get four. Gate defense is three, so one strength in. five, one in. And I remove an arc from the gate. The nemesis, because I think the nemesis is the guy that can best uh, try to get rid of this gate. Maybe put some corrosion in it. So yeah, let's work with the nemesis. Nemesis has fire, so only shooting with the rat tree. But I have three power dice. Let's see. And let's hope. I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So gate is hit. It gets corroded. And at least that's the way I think how it plays. It gets corroded first. So let's see how much damage we can put onto the gate. And we remove one arc and two arc. Okay, so I now remove the last two arc from that gate. If I got the corrosion rules wrong, then please let me know. So how I understand it is it hits, you give corrosion, and then you roll for damage. But let me know if I got it wrong. So anyway, for this fun purposes, that gate is gone. Okay, Nemesis fires a rocket over to this Dusk Rat tree with three power dice and only Dusk two. Wolf defense and last damage and no damage to the Dusk Wolf. Stinger cannon to the wounded Dusk Wolf. And I score four. I won't reroll. Dusk Wolf defense, zero. Four to kill. And that Dusk Wolf is killed. Fusion scythe to this remaining Dusk Wolf. And I score only a two. Dusk Wolf defense, one. So I get one in. Power 4, 1 in, 1 damage to that Dusk Wolf. Okay, it now flies back to control that objective. So, let's... so I activate the Immortal Weaver, it gets there, but since this uh, passing through this wall is difficult terrain, it has to stop there. Okay, my Weaver over here will go ahead and spray the enemy Dusk Wolf. Psychokinetic Hood to the Dusk Wolf, and I, fo I score 4. Defense of Dusk Wolf 1, so I get 3 in. Power 4, 3 in, and 1 damage to that check. My Cypher, I will play Instability Equation to the enemy Dusk Wolf. Focus 4, no arc in the pool, and I score 4. Defense of the Jack, 3, so 1 in. Power 4, 1 in, and the Jack is destroyed. Blast damage to that Hunter. And that hunter is killed. Okay, post round three. Uh, turn one of the Marcher Worlds arc will go to the threat nearest your model, and that would be that Dusk Wolf. Dusk Wolf activates Ripper to the Scourge and scores one, two, three, four, five, six. Scourge defense two, four in. Pal four, four in, and the Scourge is killed. Next nearest would be Raxus, so Railgun to Raxus. Railgun to Raxus, and that is 4. Scout ignores cover, so Raxus defense is only 1, 3 in. Dusk Wolf will spike to reduce the armor of Raxus. Railgun damage to Raxus with reduced armor, and that is a 5. Raxus is down to 1. Battle Rifle to Raxis, 4. Defense of Raxis, 2, to win. If this is a 4, Raxis is killed. And yeah, Raxis is killed. Hunter will attack the nearest, which is the Reaver over there. Rat 6 to the Reaver. Oh, and it misses. Yeah, I place a card. Displacement Index. Yep, that'll work first. Displacement index to the squad to move it forward. Enemy drops a gate here with 3 arc. Post round 3, turn 2 for the Eternus Continuum. And I have no arc to drop because everyone is all filled up. 
and I will play encrypted command on my Immortal Weaver. Immortal Weaver will spray down along this line hitting the gate and the two rangers. To the gate first, nice score of 4. Gate defense and I get 1 in. 5 to remove an arc to that, from that gate and no go. To the first ranger down here, score of 3. Ranger defense, so I get 1 in. 2 to eliminate that ranger, that ranger is eliminated. To that last ranger, and I score a four, I score five. Ranger defense, four in. Two to kill, ranger is killed. Difficult terrain, so I get reduced two inches, so I get to move four down here. Last reaver will try his luck on the dusk wolf. Move here, let's see how lucky he is. Saw on the dust on the dusk wolf three, defense of the dusk wolf two so one in, Foul five one in, and not enough but does a damage to the dusk wolf. I will play instability equation to the enemy weaver. Focus four with two in, and that is a four. Defense of the weaver. It is a three so one in. Foul 4, 1 in, and that causes, oh that kills the enemy weaver. Martial Worlds pulls around 3, turn 2, and enemy puts an arc on the Dusk Wolf. Enemy plays a card and Momentum Calibrator, Reiteration Matrix, and this will apply to the Dusk Wolf. Dusk Wolf attacks the weaver, scores a 3. Reaver defense. Oh, Reaver holds its ground. I have a chance. That was the Ripper. Now the Railgun. Scores a 3. Defense of the Reaver. And a 4. Now Battle Rifle to that Reaver. And scores a 5. Reaver's defense. And 2. So 3 in. To kill the reaver, reaver is killed. So the dusk wolf moves forward, and this sniper moves forward to follow my immortal weaver. So this is the make or break shot. If it kills my weaver, the AI wins. If it doesn't, I will win. Rat six to the weaver. Scores a two. Weaver's defense. Cock dice. Suspense. And zero, so two in. A six will kill my weaver. And no, my weaver survives. And when I activate, I will clear out the activation markers. I get to activate the nemesis and my immortal weaver over here, wherein it'll be able to get off the board because as the win conditions go, you have to be controlling that objective to get out. So I was able to successfully finish this scenario. Okay, so that was an interesting match. I understand that if I were up against an actual Martial Worlds player, I probably would have lost uh, post round two. But anyway, this is a solo mission scenario. So those are really the conditions and that's really the, uh, the way it's supposed to be played. And that would be the challenge. So anyway, I enjoyed and I hope you did too. So see you for the third uh, installment of this solo campaign battle report. Oh, by the way, uh, because I achieved that objective, I get four, or if you play this, you would also get four uh, points to bolster up your army.